Hey everybody, welcome back to WWE's Mizzitude Part 5. Um, been about a month or two since I've recorded any single player stuff. So I figured it'd be a good idea to get back to recording some stuff. Um, I've had a couple of these start up, but you haven't really seen them go up. It's been very, very rare that you've seen any single player stuff on the channel in the past couple of months. But uh plan on bringing that stuff back, so uh, without further ado... Let's get right into WWE's Visit 2 Part 5, this amazing story that Max Thrasher has created for all of us to play. And I think we are going, oh, my controller must be running out of batteries. Uh, good thing I keep a spare controller sitting around. Alright. Hey, Miz. What are you doing now? You're not still playing Halo 4, are you? No, Mr. Producer, I'm not. However, I am trying to enjoy eating what's left of my lunch peace and quiet. But now that you're here, I guess that's out of the question. Now isn't it, most gracious Mr. Producer? I believe that you're right, Miz. So hurry up, scarf down your lunch, Ms. Pig. Ms. Piggy. Oh my. Just insulted the man. So we can pin part five of the really awesome Miz That's it. I quit. I can't take this anymore. I can't play Halo 4. I can't eat my lunch in peace and quiet. I'm still waiting on my decaf coffee since ever. It's part one. Speaking of parts, how many parts is this whole Mizzitude thing supposed to supposed to be, Mr. Producer? I thought that WWE DVD sets usually only have three discs. Well, since you're the most. Damn it, Max. You know I don't like that you don't put mo most must see and just must see. Get that shit out of here. That you're the most must-see WWE superstar of all time, Miz. We took that as an ex exception so we can make you work harder. So quit your belly aching and get to your spot. Here's some real heat between uh, the producer and Miz. WWE Home Video in association with THQ and Max Thrasher Productions proudly presents The Mizzitude Part 5 The true, untold, awesome story of the WWE's Attitude Era that was seen through the eyes of the most awesome WWE superstar in history The Miz So you did a little ad lib in there Pump it all up a little bit more. Bring it to a whole new level. Welcome, everyone, to The Mizzitude Part 5. This is the longest-running DVD set in all of WWE's history. I'm Michael Cole, and alongside with me is no other than the most must-see WWE superstar of all time, The Miz himself. So let's give it up for The Miz by letting him know how awesome he is as he explains the next great match we are about to see. Take it away, Miz. Really? 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 I woke up this morning for this. Give me a break, Michael. Well, if I have to play the WWE Universe's silly games, then so be it. When I was trying to eat my lunch this afternoon, I thought of the perfect match to show all the misfits out there in TV land. Remember the time where Booker T and Stone Cold Steve Austin had their epic supermarket battle? Well, a battle between two King of the Rings like that was almost the battle of the middle of middle earth only it wasn't the lord of the rings movie huh i'm confused what's going on here so without further ado i would like to present my precious tribute to the lord of the rings with a match between booker t and stone cold steve austin which i like to call the a ring underneath two kings match so enjoy it or suffer being burned alive by all the fires of Mount Cain. What? Mr. Frodo, please don't what me, you hobbit. Watch the match and shut up, Cole. Alright. Booker T versus Stone Cold. Now I can dig that, sucker. Because I am the fat time, fat time, fat time, fat time, fat time. WCW champion, the one. The only Booker T. Now this would be a much better match if it was taking place at the Shucky 
Ducky Arena. Now, can you dig it, sucker? Book a book a book book a T. Book book a book book a. Book book a book book a T. Yeah. Now that's what I call a real theme song right there. You, you, all you suckers out there in TV land. Oh my. The rattlesnake champion. Smoking skull belt right there. Or just the WWE champion, the smoking skull. Whatever. Let's get into this match. Of course I'm going to... Oh, it's for the title, too. I didn't know that, but uh, of course Booker T is who I'm going to play as. Going to hit him with the one, the only, bookend. Or the scissors kick, but uh, I'll probably hit him with the bookend. Booker T. Again, oh, come over here, you this sucker. This one will crown the king of the ring. It doesn't get much bigger than this. It doesn't get much bigger than this. You are completely correct, Michael Cole. Fuck you. Early hit him with the bookend. Or a move that looks just like the bookend. Now get into the corner. So I can make quick work of you. Here we go. Booker T going up. Sunset flip. It's over. It's got to be. Oh, not even a one count. Now if I could have put uh, Triple H away that easy. I'm, well, Triple H? What the fuck am I talking about here? Where the fuck did Triple H come from? The fu What the fuck's wrong with me? Triple H? That's fucking Stone Cold. I think because uh, of uh, the whole Kings thing, I had Triple H in my mind or something. What the fuck am I talking about? Triple H? What the fuck's happening to me? Uh, that is no way. Triple H. The man's bald and wearing tights and a knee brace. A triple what? I'm so, I'm so I don't know what is wrong with me here. <clears throat> I need to get my head out of my ass. Damn it, Stone Cold, trying to break my point this early. Nobody breaks Booker Booker T's points, that's for sure. Elbow to the back of the head. Oh my. Spin a Rooney time. Now that is the most must see move in all of entertainment. Oh, here we go. It's time to put him away. Like only Booker T can. With the bookend. It's over. One, two. Only a two count. I got a two count. I didn't even know those existed in this game. They're the most rare thing in all of entertainment. Time to go up top. What's Booker T got in his arsenal? Oh, he had a big knee drop that uh, Stone Cold got out of the way for. Neck, nice neck breaker. Now, let me go back up top. I'm going to hit this. Or not. Okay. Or not. Oh no, what are you doing to me, Stone Cold? Fuck you. This is what time it is. I guess it's not going to be spinner any time because he got up. Nice sidewalk slam. Spinner Rooney. Oh, takes me right over. Come on. What? I gotta be near in a uh, signature anytime here. God damn it, Stone Cold. Stop with your stomping. For fuck's sakes. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Tell you, see, tell you, champion. Oh, now you're working, working the, working the leg. Damn it, Austin. Fuck you. Oh, it's time. It's five time. 
It's scissors kick time. Here we go. That's got to be it for Austin. One, two, three. Austin is done. Let's get on with the story. What is next? Why is there why is there a skull crushing finale sign? Amazing in the match. Hey, where's my title? Where is Booker T's title? That ref held the title belt up. Someone explain this to me. It's a screw job. It's the screw job all over again. This man has been screwed out of the Smoking Skulls title. I demand a refund on this. I want all my money back. All the praise I gave this story is out the window since Booker T is in the champion. That's it. Everything that was right in this world is now wrong. That did that undid all the rights. Now it's time for SmackDown. Last week on Friday Night SmackDown, John Laurinaitis issued a single elimination tournament to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Although, even at the end of last Friday night, we were all left baffled as to who that number one contender would be. The reason for that was because of Kane's unremorseless actions of last week. Kane went on a rampage, injuring both Randy Orton and The Big Show in hopes of becoming the new number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. So what will this mean for Sheamus when Extreme Rules gets closer and closer? Who will be the one that will face Sheamus in less than two more weeks? We all hope to find out all the answers tonight, plus a whole lot more, right here on Friday Night SmackDown. SmackDown is underway. Thank you for welcoming me, Michael Cole, because I would have never known where I was. Oh, yes. It's time for my hero and yours, Big Johnny. Welcome, everyone, to Friday Night SmackDown. Yes, blue attire. I love it. I love it. It's the SmackDown suit. That, look at that glorious attire on Mr. Excitement, John Laurinaitis. I completely 